All right, y'all, because getting here so we can talk about this messy ass episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville, baby. Before we even get into it, make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, and get down in these comments so y'all can get a conversation started. And let's go on ahead and get into it. Now, we starting off where we left off, of course, Destiny and Moses having a conversation about this breakup. Destiny, just leave it alone, baby. The man a dog, the man's trifling, Sonny's a dog, Sonny's trifling. I understand why you came there and met with him just because sometimes it be like, let me hear what this idiot got to say. Let me hear what this motherfucker got to say. After you done did me wrong, now you want to come and talk about, oh, I thought we was doing it right. You know, me and my wife, we y'all know good and well y'all were not moving right. That's why y'all have yet to have a conversation with her until now after everybody done told y'all that y'all needed to have a damn conversation with her, okay? The shit do get deep because Destiny say... The man Moses done um named his business after their child. A child that they were gonna have together. They were gonna conceive. Skim. Now I just know Pumpkinhead gonna have a problem with that when she see this footage her back. Okay. Um you ain't telling the whole truth, Moses. And that just is what it is. Um Destiny already done said that y'all was steadily talking up until August. When you keep saying that you got in a relationship with Sonny. So come on. You was dibbling and dabbling and doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Instead of you just admitting it, owning up to it, which would have been the better thing to do now that it's already done, just come there and just say, I messed up. I did some foul shit, and I just want to bring you here and say I'm sorry for real. Knowing the type of woman Destiny is, I really feel like she would have appreciated that more than you coming and playing in her face. Acting like y'all did everything y'all could to try to be respectful and try to keep her feelings um, in the forefront. I, I just think she would have appreciated it better. Moving on. Tisha meets with Trisha. Um, for training and see here's where the weird shit gets started we just gonna go ahead and talk about it all right now so weird thing gets started well, as soon as they meet up and they training or whatever they get to talking and tisha like you from huntsville ain't you, you from huntsville? and trisha's like yeah and she immediately says i know martell that's the first thing she says is i, I know martell now, granted, it might be because Martell is the one that's on the show and not Martell's brother, but she is also later on saying that she knows his brother more than she knows Martell. Okay, so that was what was weird at first. So then Tisha started talking about, I don't know, I just always heard that, you know, Martell was always the good one and then his brother, he was the bad one. And Trisha like, what? Um, mm -mm. I don't know none of that to be true. But basically, it's like she putting out she putting out feelers to get some information on how she know Martell or whatever. And they don't finish talking about it there. They go on and they start talking about um, Trisha's situation with her being still married and being with Ken. However, we gonna go on and fast forward real quick to Stormy inviting Trisha over to her house, right? She invites her over to her house so that she could ask her if she'll be one of her models um, in her upcoming show. And lo and behold, who knocks on the door and comes in? It's already a weird ass scene because it's rose petals leading from the door up to the couch. Which my thing of it is, Stormy, you already know that um Ken is I mean, uh Trisha is in a relationship with Ken. Um, Martell, he probably single, whatever he's going by now, you don't know. But anyway, you know that this woman is in a relationship. So I don't know, and I know presentation is important because what is it? It's a lovers and friends, um, night or whatever it is that Stormy's throwing. But basically it's very sexual. I just don't understand the purpose of having the rose petals led up to the couch. Like you was escorting Martell in to be, um, Trisha's date. That was weird. So then Martell comes in, right? Trisha's sitting on the couch all quiet. Martell walks up and extends his hand and says, Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm Martell. And Trisha don't say, What? Martell, boy. She say, Trisha, in a little weird ass way and shake his hand. Well, so he sit down and they, Stormy come back in. Him and Stormy exchange pleasantries and shit. Well, then once they get the talk and Stormy said, Oh, we well, got both from Huntsville. Don't y'all know each other? And Trisha's like, mm, yeah, I know him. Looking all awkward. Martell, like, you know me? What? <laughs> like, you know me? Shot, right? So Trisha looking all stupid. At this point, Stormy looking stupid because now it done got awkward because one person is saying, yeah, I know you. And the other person is saying, what? I know you? So then Trisha says, well, how's Tez? 
talking about Martel's brother. Martel says, oh, Tiz, he good, but wait a minute. You know my brother? Shocked again. Stormy like, now what's going on? Do you, I mean, do you know or you don't know? Like, what's going on here? So, <laughs> finally, Martel says, oh, it's right. I, I do know her. I do know her. She went to school with my brother. Yeah, I know her. I know her. But then he starts saying stuff like, don't even ask the timeline on, on when I knew her. Well, why would we need to ask if you just said that she went to school with your brother? And furthermore, why would you come in acting like you didn't know her? So Stormy asked that. She like, well, why you say you didn't know her for? Like, why you say you ain't know her? He like, I don't know. She just looked different. She looked different. I ain't recognize her. Her is where the bullshit. This is all of his bullshit, but this is where the bullshit is really bullshitty. So he like he don't, he didn't recognize her. Stormy asked, what you Trish? What you was out here looking like? Where he where he uh, noticed what you look like? Who you was? You look you looked that different. And Trish is like, mm, yeah, I was probably around like. 90 pounds, 90 something pounds when I saw him. Yeah, it was probably since a um, little bit after I had, she had, she said her daughter's name or whatever. Now that wouldn't be weird if 10, 20 minutes later after Stormy go ahead and say, okay, y'all know what y'all being weird. She go on and ask them both if they'll be models. They both accept. Martell goes on ahead and leaves. When Stormy come back to the couch, she said, why is that so weird? Like, why y'all being so weird? She just went on and asked. Trisha's like, I don't know. I'm just so confused. I mean, I just saw him in Target. Why in the hell did you say that? Why did you say you hadn't seen him since you was 90 some pounds and made it seem like it was years ago the last time you seen him? So that would have gave us reason to believe that, okay, that might be a reason why he didn't recognize you. But now you're talking about you just seen him in Target. Not too long ago, and he walked up to you and said, what's up, Trisha? And y'all had a conversation. So which one is it? You know what is giving, Trisha? And this is the thing. Look, conversations keep coming up. Like, she's like, yeah, y'all making it seem like, he making it seem like we might have been doing something. That is what it definitely seems like. It wouldn't have seemed like that if you weren't being so weird, if y'all hadn't have been being so weird with each other. But I feel like... Y'all have had an affair with each other or y'all were messing with each other on the low or something. And that's why Martell didn't want to claim you on TV. It's cool when y'all ran to the Target and he like, girl, what's up? But I don't know if it's something where maybe you was somebody that popped up. Y'all, the vibe was just horrible. Okay. And then they both did. Uh, well, she did a horrible job at hiding whatever the hell it is that Martell's trying to hide. Because you could tell that they both are trying to hide something. I don't necessarily think that she was trying to hide that she knew him. Because like I said, when she was talking to Tisha, that's the first thing she said. I know Martell. I know Martell. I wouldn't even brought him up. Because now you keep on saying, no, no. He, see, I'm going to have to clear this up because you he going to make it seem like we used to do something. No, you're the one making it seem like y'all used to do something. If the nigga wanted to act like he didn't know who you was you should have either one called him out right then and there and been like boy what you mean <laughs> had you know me we just saw each other in target and had a conversation stop playing or you should have just went along with him when the man said he didn't know who you was i don't know because now it's awkward and now everybody knows that it's awkward and it's giving that y'all both are trying to hide something y'all just trying to hide it in different kind of ways i think martel was shocked that you done admitted that you knew him and I think it's because of the origin of how y'all know each other. I don't care. Like, this shit was weird. <laughs> and, 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 and maybe this is why we got Trisha on the cast. Because I've been trying to figure out what else is she going to be doing besides keep on talking about how her ex-husband done, you know, put her through a lot. And how she's sad and shit. What else is she going to do? Maybe this is part of her storyline to figure out what the fuck went on in the past with her and Martell. Y'all finna be modeling with each other half naked. So you might as well come on out with it. I right, it's going to come out later. It, it, it's going to come out sooner or later, so you might as well bring it on out. Anyway, Mel has a pajama party with some of her friends. And I'm going to tell you what, it was so much squealing Mel was doing in this damn scene. I couldn't even really pay attention to what the hell was going on, y'all. Mel got on my nerves. One thing about it, you already got this high-pitched-ass voice anyway. But then here you come with the whole, ah, all of y'all doing it at the same time, squealing like piglets. I can't. No. I know that they was talking to Mel about hooking her up with guys and she was basically explaining to them 
why she hasn't been dating yet. They telling her she being too picky. Male like, no, I just really don't think I'm ready yet. And that's understandable. The women have been through a whole lot. Um, It doesn't matter if Martell moving on. Martell done been linked to several women or whatever. I feel male. She ain't moving that fast. And then the one time she did try to go out on a date and have her some little dinner and an and old piece of steak or something, whatever she had at the restaurant, Martell has j- walked up. In the middle of her having a date, and I think they was already divorced and was recording them. So it's kind of like, if she do start dating, what is she going to have to deal with going forward? You know, I think it was even a part where she said, I have to worry about what I'm bringing somebody else into. And that's real shit, because if you already know you're dealing with a messy ass man and you want to build a solid relationship with another man, it's going to be tricky and dangerous to get them involved with each other. Um... And it not be problems. Martell also give me the type of petty ass nigga that ain't gonna want no man around his kids. So he gonna try to cause some problems on that front and on that aspect. Mel got a lot to think about. And I think that she's being um, responsible. I don't, you know, ain't nothing wrong with dipping your toe every now and again. If you need to get your needs met or whatever, Mel. But I think that she's being very responsible by saying that she's not ready to put her situation on nobody else right now. Now, Moses... <sighs> He meet up with Sonny, pumpkin head ass, and tell her about his meeting with Destiny. And one thing is for sure, Sonny is definitely still worried about Destiny. The first thing out her mouth was, well, what she, what did she have on? What she have on? What she was just like? Why? Why? And the man politely told you she was looking good. Yeah, she had a little makeup or whatever. You gonna holler, oh, so in other words, she looked good. He holler, yeah, yeah, I guess. You know she looked good. Because one thing about it. If it's looks, Destiny got it over Sunny any day. I don't care what you're talking about, as big as that woman's forehead is. And it's just like not even, I'm not even going to keep on putting it on looks. It's just that Sunny is giving off such a nasty woman syndrome. I don't know what it is. Eating up everything this man telling you. Now you done um, start calling the woman a side chick. You ain't never called her a side chick before. You're calling her a side chick now because your, your back is to the fire. And you feeling everybody telling you how what you did was so fucking foul. Now you trying to make it seem like, oh, we weren't never friends in the first place. She can't tell me two things about me. She can't do this. She can't do that. Destiny already said your sister invited you, invited her to like your birthday trip and shit so she must have been some type of cool for her to be getting invitations and shit like that stop downplaying the shit now that you with that girl ex-boyfriend just stop doing both of y'all if y'all would just own it and just say well we fucked up and it just is what it is but hell we in love now and we understand if destiny don't ever want to talk to either one of us ever but don't be trying to make it seem like destiny is this you know, she's a delusional ass girl or anything. They were in a relationship. Okay. Cut it out. Bitch. You also need to be worried about the fact that he didn't put that ring on when he went to go see destiny. Cause you could do all of this. My wife shit, my wife shit, my wife shit. You won't. Where is the ring? And coincidentally, when you went to go meet up with the ex that you left for Sonny, supposedly you forget your ring. Yeah. Okay. It's all funny games, ain't it, Sonny? Until the rabbit get the gun. Don't let it be that. Don't let it be that. I'm going to laugh so hard because that's what you get, honestly. It's just the way that you carry yourself in this situation. And that's another thing that makes people just not even like you. I don't even want to keep talking about them. Now, Ken and Trisha, they having dinner together, basically. And they talking about um, getting married. And basically, Trisha talking about how she still haven't even had the discussion of divorce with her ex. And then they get to talking about this whole Martell thing. And she tells him what happened with Martell acting like he don't know. Um, he didn't know her. And he's shocked. And this is where the shit get even weirder. Because then he's like, what? You see Martell all the time. And then we just went to his party and blah, blah, blah. This shit just is not making any sense. The only thing that would make sense is if you and Martell that had some type of previous dealings before and one of y'all don't want it to get out. And we done figured out who the one is that don't want it to get out. It seems like it is Martell. And it makes me feel like, well, then was he still with Mel when it happened and he don't want that part to get out or whatever because then people can start putting two and two together. 
I feel like it was some type of inappropriate relationship that happened with them two. And apparently Ken think it too. Because he like, uh, y'all gonna have to get that straight. You gonna have to say something to him about that because it's gonna make people think the child used to mess around, that you was one of his little little whatever's you know and she's sitting there even still no no mm -mm, no never i don't believe you i do not believe you trisha i believe that that is part of your storyline and i believe that that shit is gonna come out and when it come out it's gonna come out with a bang you better get on top of it i'm telling you just advice it's just some advice now y'all make sure y'all like the video subscribe to the channel get down to here in these comments let me know what y'all think about this whole martell situation do y'all think him and trisha knew each other beforehand y'all think they done dabble because I sure do. What y'all think? Make sure y'all get in these comments and let me know. And y'all already know what. I'm going to be back with the next one.